In my previous video with Luminar Neo and Glow up above my head here, I talked about text and using Neon and Glow. This one will be about using shapes in Photoshop. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Let's go over to the side here and grab our custom shape tool. Hit the little drop down. We're gonna go to Legacy Shapes and More and Legacy Default Shapes and Shapes. Let's grab the star. Now hold your shift key down and let's grab this star right there. Now these settings here, over here, are all ones you're gonna have to deal with. Or up top. The settings up top, fill, data, stroke is white at 10 pixels. I've also taken and clicked outside. So first thing we're gonna do, V key, we'll kind of move it in the center. Now we're gonna grab a solid color adjustment layer, make sure it's black. We'll move it down underneath the star. Let's merge those two layers. Now, filter, Skylim software, Luminar Neo. We're gonna be doing the same thing over and over again here with these different shapes. The difference is gonna be in the edit. So we'll go up to edit, and creative, and neon and glow. Let's bring it up to 50 for the amount. AI will do its thing. And it goes around the inside and outside of the star, which is pretty cool. But what I want to do is I want to have it along the lines. So I'm going to make it. The amount is 50. And the indent is going to be minus 5. And now it's going around on the star. Very cool stuff. Now, of course, you can adjust your whiteness or anything else you want to adjust. So hit Apply. Change the blend mode to screen. And now you've got this star. Very cool. This second example, we'll go back to our custom shape tool and we'll choose the heart. Hold your shift key down. Make a nice heart. Keep the same settings up top that we had before. Now hit your V key and we'll kind of move it into the center. Solid color adjustment layer. Make sure it's black, okay. We'll shoot it underneath. And once again, we'll grab both layers and we'll merge them. Filter, Skylum Software, Luminar Neo. Now, again, we'll go to Edit, Creative, and Neon and Glow. Once again, we'll bring up the amount to 50. Looks cool, but this time, I want to make it red, of course, for a heart. I'd like to show you the different sliders here. The amount back and forth gives you what brighter, not so bright, but it's got some great settings there. Your indent, you can make it go out or in. Your spread, make it really cool and bright. Bring it back down your atmosphere. Same thing. Very cool. Of course, your hue. You can go through all the different colors if you want. And your whiteness, just blazing. Or bring it back really nice. And you can start to see the outline of the original heart. But I'm going to bring it up to about 30 plus 10 here. So it looks like three different hearts almost. Apply. Change your blend mode again to screen, either screen or linear dodge, one of the two. And you have your heart. Cool. In this third example, we'll go back to the custom shape tool, all the legacy default shapes, and let's go to arrows. I want to use this curly arrow here. Hold on, shift key. Now you can also change the fill and the stroke to your desire, whatever you wish. But for now, 
That's kind of moved into the middle here. Solid colored layer. Put it underneath. Grab the two layers and merge. Filter. Skylum software, Lunar Edit. Neon Glow. Once again, we'll make the amount 50, right in the middle. Now with this one, you can have it around. I like it shiny like that. I'm gonna bring the spread down a bit. And I wanna make it kind of a green. You can take your whiteness up and get rid of that middle part. But I like it like this. Or it's kind of blue almost in there. But I'll bring up the white just a bit. Apply. Change your blend mode to screen. The cool thing about this is you can duplicate the layer and make it larger. Or go under Edit and Transform and flip it horizontal. So now, if you wish, your V key to move. If you want to use it in one of your graphics like that, you can move them around, transform them, make them a little smaller, do whatever you wish. If you want to point or rotate, and you got all kinds of great options. Now, if you don't like that, you can also undo Let's undo, and it'll go back. And you can change your arrow, make it whatever you wish, or even change the shape in general. So I'm going to remove the arrow, and I'm going to go back to my shape tool and draw another. Except this time, I'm going to change the fill to white, stroke to black. Solid color, put it underneath. Don't forget to merge the layers. Filter, Skylum Software, Luminar Neo. Edit, Creative, and Neon and Glow. Once again, we'll bring it up to 50 for the amount. We'll let it do its thing. Now, I want to change it to green, and the indent can go, and it might look like it's around it, like this, or like this. Now, if you want to change what's going on in the inside, go to your refine, and let's say you want to draw inside there. Adjust your brush, and just color a bit, and you can repair and or change it just how you like it. That looks cool. Now let's get out of the refine object. Check out how it looks. Going like this. That's very cool. Indent. I'm going to bring it in a bit. Whiteness will back it off. And apply. Change your blend mode. Zoom out here. And that's looking very cool. You can do whatever you wish. It's all up to your imagination on what you want done. Especially with transforming them. Make it smaller. Right click. Warp it if you want. Let's put a grid on that. Make it original. You got a cool looking arrow there. Alright. Try all kinds of shapes in Photoshop there. You're only limited by your imagination. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. Yeah, it won't break a nail. I'm done from 4911. See ya.